I hear somebody talking. Madam To uh, uh, Hiya, this Madam To After she told af, After she told me Today, I must stop faster than my usual speed She disappeared faster than her usual speed hey, Teacher, did you see Madam To? Uh, I think she went to the toilet do you need me to go and find her? Oh yeah, please help me to okay, look for okay, her. Okay. Yeah. Madam To, where are you? Oh girls, do you know who I am? Huh? You... Who? Who am I? Wow, Gigi Popo is hard of hearing. Cannot hear you. Who am I? Oh, yes, I am Gigi Popo. <laughs> it's the first time I see you here. Do you know why I'm here today? Don't know, ah? Don't know? Huh? Don't know why I'm here today. Quickly, you must tell me why do you think I'm here today. Otherwise, later, I will overshoot the time. If I overshoot the time, your teachers will feel very stressed. Quick, tell me. Yes? Talk about clean plate because I'm the clean plate warrior. You know, last Thursday, I received a call from Madam To. She said, Gigi Popo, on Monday, you must come to school for our clean plate campaign assembly program. Then she hurriedly hung up the phone. I was wondering, why is it so special? She called me on Thursday out of all days until the time when I was drinking my kopi o and reading the papers. I realized why Madam To sounded so anxious. Do you know what was on the first page of the newspaper last Thursday? You don't know? You don't know? Last Thursday, first page. Big picture. Quickly tell me, otherwise I'll overshoot the time. Is it about food wastage? Do you know what's the date of last Thursday? What's the date? Date. Don't know, check quickly, otherwise I'll overshoot the time and your teachers will very be very stressed. Correct, 28th of July. You know, 28th of July is a very significant day for this year. You don't know? 28th of July is not my birthday. It's not Madam To's birthday. It is called the Overshoot Day. Yes, Overshoot Day. To before I explain to you what Overshoot Day means, let me ask you a question. Do you think our one and only Mother Earth, our one and only Mother Earth can produce an unlimited supply of resources and food? No, that's right. So every year, Mother Earth can only produce a limited amount of resources and food. But on the 28th of July, this year by 28th of July, we have already consumed the more resources than Earth can produce for the entire year. That's why it's called Overshoot Day. And do you know what happens when we overshoot? Overshoot, just now I say if overshoot the time, what will teachers feel? Stress! So we are also making the earth feel very stressed. What happens when you feel stressed? What happens? What happens? You... Do, do, some of us, when we feel stressed, we cry, right? Cry because I'm so stressed. That's why sometimes the earth cries. It rains and it rains and it rains non-stop causing flood. And what happens if you continue to make it feel stress? You cry more and then? Yeah, you will fall sick. When you fall sick, you have fever, right? Yeah, can you see sometimes Earth is having a fever with all the heat wave going on? Ah, what else can happen when you fall sick? 
Yeah, you may catch a cold. That's why sometimes the winter is so prolonged and the temperature goes so low. And at the end, at the end, if earth gives up, that's the end. That's the end for all, all of us. You know, for Gigi Popo, it doesn't really matter. I'm already so old. Maybe tomorrow I cannot wake up from my bed. But look at you. You have your life ahead of you. You have many more years to live. We cannot continue to consume what is meant for the future. We must stop food wastage. Right now, we are living as if we don't just have one earth. We are living as if we have one and the three quarter numbers of earth. Is that possible? Do we have more than one earth? Do we have? No. And what's more alarming, if the whole world lives like the lifestyle of an average Singaporean, the whole, we will need not just one and three quarter earth. We will need 3.8 numbers of earth. That's how much wastage we are giving. Just now you heard from your teacher, right? One day we waste one and a half bowls of rice. That's how much waste we are generating. So, one of the ways to make sure our Mother Earth does not feel stressed, does not fall sick, is to stop food wastage. Just now your teacher has shared with you what the, the tips to stop food wastage. Can you tell me what they are? Order only what you need. Very good. That's number one. What about number two? Don't over order. Ask for smaller portions. Then what is number three? Correct. Finish whatever is on your plate. Not a single grain of rice. Not a single strand of noodles should be left behind. So, and you know, there's one more thing that Gigi Popo will do. When I go for parties, I will bring a container. So in case, in case uh, there's food left over that we can't eat, I will pack them properly and then uh, uh, eat them later. Okay, so that's another way. But you know, girls, it is not good enough to just know what to do. We must also do what we know. So, everybody, we must stop food waste now. Oh, I'm going to overshoot the time. Oh, yeah, the teacher's going to feel very stressed. Oh, I better go and look for Madam To. Madam To! This video is brought to you by GG 2.0. Remember, good girls go green!